Shot clock winding down. Adebayo's got to shoot it. Head fake. Leans in. Jumper. It's good. Bam! Adebayo knocks it down. The Bam Cam. Bam Adebayo had 16 points in the first half, was one off his playoff career high with 31 in the game, also had 10 rebounds, six assists as well. Miami Heat take a 2-1 series lead over the Boston Celtics. Zeke, we talked about it before the game. Bam Adebayo, where, is he, where has he been? And he showed up in a big way when they needed him most. N not only did he show up, but you can see in the first half they were – they were actually going to him. Every time there was a mismatch, they went to him. They put the ball in his hands, cleared the flow out. He had room to operate. He had room to work with. And, you know, Boston, you know, and, and this is like a league philosophy. A league philosophy says defensively, if we got a man, if we got a defensive player, an offensive player, we're okay. And they'll, they'll go with some mismatches, thinking that you won't take advantage of the mismatches. Mm -hmm. Well, what Miami did specifically tonight is every time Bam had a mismatch, they went against the league philosophy and said, no, we're, we're not going to shoot a three-point. We're going to throw the ball inside and let Bam do his thing. And then he took over and he got involved. 3D. Uh, no Jimmy Butler in the second half, and you could sense that the Heat were in trouble. Even though they were up as much as 26, we're starting to look at the largest comebacks and playoff history and that sort of thing. But Bam weathered the storm, that shot he hit as we came into this show. He shot nine times in the first quarter. He took five shots a game in the first two games in this series. So to hear Bam say, I need to be more aggressive, knowing that opportunity is going to be there. The first quarter, they're on fire. 39 points as a team. But to your point, Chris, Bam said, opportunity, double teams not coming. Look at the patience. That's a good hand by Al Horford. Guess what? I gather myself. I get the ball back in my hands. I shoot the ball with confidence. Once again, the Miami Heat, to your point, Zeke, normally you go away from the mismatch. No, that's the defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart. But still stay patient. Watch how you use the ball fake. Yes, you get him off the ground. Now you're shooting over a chair, big time move in the paint. So now Bam says, guess what? My teammates know I'm hot tonight. They know I'm being more aggressive. That don't mean I have to shoot, Chris. That means I be more aggressive. I keep my eyes open. That's how you get six assists, big assists, getting layups for your teammates. Because we all know when the ball goes through the net, we get more confident. Now defensive boards under control. I'm running the floor. Somebody falls down. I don't think the ball touches the floor, Zeke. That's a coach's dream from a yeah. rebound and go fast break. The ball don't touch the floor. That's big time secondary break. Same thing here. A couple of dribbles. Not too many 6'10 kids under control finishing in transition. So bam, I don't know who you talk to. But you brought it tonight. Yeah. Now you got to bring it again look the next game. Look at your screen and just look Come at on. the yellow. This is the player that they got when they played the Boston Celtics in 2020 in the playoffs. Mm. He averaged 21, 11, and 6 in that series. You know, I, I can't emphasize this enough. I, again, philosophically, the league believes that when you switch, right, as long as you have a man on body, man on ball, right, you're okay because philosophically the league believes that you will not take advantage of the mismatches. Mm. And every night we talk about mismatches, but the league philosophically doesn't believe in taking advantage of, of mismatches. Well, Miami tonight went against league philosophy and said, we're going to stop. We're going to take advantage of mismatches. And when Bam has the defensive player on the year, Marcus Smart, on his back, but Bam is 6'10", 6'11", and Marcus Smart is 6'2". We call that a mismatch. They say, you know what? Stop, slow down. Here you go, Bam.